this has been a particularly tough week and a half or so uh, in America, largely because of the president of the United States targeting a uh, sitting member of Congress, Congressman Elijah Cummings, who is also the chairman of Oversight Committee, the president unleashing racist rants, uh, targeting the congressman. And then, of course, so many people, including other Baltimoreans uh, who came to his aid. And now today, Elijah Cummings in Baltimore addressing all that has been experienced. Instead of common help, that's how right. Can they, help? they can bring resources. Again, you, you need to read the Sun paper. I got to give it to them. Uh, they showed where uh, Baltimore is not getting all the money that uh, the president claims we're getting, and that a huge percentage. I mean, I think it, we got eight million, eight billion over two years, and three and a half of that go to our hospitals. Three and a half. And then, and then, and when you see the breakdown, and I beg you to go and read, okay, of what we have done in this city. And while you're here, swear the city. You need to go almost anywhere you go, anywhere near here, including downtown, is my district. And so we work with with uh, our business people, and they work with us. Johns Hopkins, University of Maryland have been phenomenal. Um, and so again, I'm meeting people every day young people who came up in uh, difficult and challenging circumstances who are now doing great things. And I tell you, it feeds my soul. This is what feeds my soul. So I don't have time for, uh, my mother used to say, you, you concentrate on the things that are most important to you. And these kinds of things are most important to me. Sir, half the House Democrats have come out well in favor of impeachment. Is it time to proceed to allow an inquiry or a formal proceeding? That's a very good question. Um, you know, I've, I've said, first of all, I'm very clued in to what is going on with regard to uh, impeachment. And I agree with Nancy Pelosi. You got to keep in mind that I am one of the investigating heads up one head up one of the investigating committees. So I think her course is the proper one. We are doing our research. We are trying to do our jobs, and there may very well come a time when a peace impeachment is appropriate. Uh, I've said many times that uh, one of the lines for me would be when when and if the administration disobeys court orders because I think I, uh, then we have no, no choice so we'll see do you think your committee's work ignited the president's criticism I'm sorry did your committee's work you think ignited the president's criticism what do you mean I don't understand the hearing with Macalina? I don't know I don't know I don't know um, that's another great question I do not know, but all I'm, all I'm, and by, by the way, to that last your question, you know, a, a lot of people uh, question, may question uh, our decisions. Remember, I'm not, I haven't called for his impeachment. Um, and I'm trying to be fair to him, too. I want to be fair. And that's why we need to do our research. And, you know, and that's the way it is. Um, one of the things that I, I want is to preserve our democracy. I worry that the democracy that we have uh, will not be if we do not do something. And we'll do it. And we'll do what we have to do to address these issues. But I'm not doing this for myself at 68 years old and a black man in America, I realize my life is short. I'm doing it for generations yet unborn. And that's what's so important. We want to send people into the future. I often say our children are the living messengers. We send to a future we will never see. And I want to send them strong, bright, healthy, bold, and full of hope. And so I think, you know, when I hear criticism by anybody about my city, I think the thing that bothers me most 
is that we have a situation where uh, there are folks who are stepping on the foot on the hope of our children. If I had, the, I don't know what I would have done if I had had people in high places when I was a little boy telling me what I couldn't do. Instead, I had people telling me what I could do. And the other thing, somebody asked a question about what do I want to say to the uh, community, uh, to the Baltimore community. I want to thank you. I want to thank the Johns Hopkins of the world. I want to thank the Under Armour of the world. They give the, they give the programs like this on a weekly basis, on a monthly basis. I want to thank the Weinberg Foundation, so many foundations, uh, and all of those people who have helped us to uh, make sure that our children grow up to be all that they can be. All right? That's it. All right. I hope I gave you enough that you can work with. All right. All right, you, you see there, uh, Congressman uh, Elijah uh, Cummings there of Maryland 7th uh, District there, um, responding to the week and a half that it has been particularly for him, uh, starting with more than a week ago, was the uh, President of the United States, you know, tweeting out um, criticism of uh, Congressman Cum Cummings calling his district, I'm quoting now, the worst run and most dangerous anywhere in the United States. No human being would want to live there, uh, insulting uh, a host of people, not just the congressman, but then so many uh, coming out in defense from you know, actress Jada Pinkett to our own Victor Blackwell, uh, talking about how hurtful seeing those comments from a president of the United States uh, about uh, Congressman Cummings and how those comments in uh, uh, impact uh, individuals from Baltimore and beyond. Uh, the congressman coming out today at a um, a, a grand opening of a play uh, uh, area in his district and today being compelled to respond to how so much support uh, has come his way. And of course, thanking those who have supported him. You know Congressman Cummings had responded via tweet and otherwise about how he goes to his district every day and how his commitment remains strong to his district and of course to all Americans.